Oh. But we have this lovely prologue and Ana option. I actually don't think you can bet. Actually, uh, let me actually just turn it up for a moment down here. Because I can add a filter to increase the gain. I could just be like, oop, there you go, game is louder. Man, OBS is cool as shit. Anywho. I'm actually going to make this a bit bigger. Or not. Anyway, prologue. There's three days in that lovely, lovely prologue. Hope you've been well too, Sensei. I'm doing well, well myself. I've been burnt out and kind of meh. But still, I'm doing my best and we're going to have lovely fun. Hmm. Friday, December 9th. So, for those that don't know, in Valhalla on the first day, they talk about how there's just this trashed bathroom in the bar. We're gonna find out why. Good evening. Well, at least one of my employees showed up. What about Gil? He mumbled something about holes and pests and asked for a couple days off. Business as usual, then. Not quite. How so? I mean us, not Gil. Business will be a tad different th oh, this weekend. We got booked. That's a new one. Who made the booking? The Cypher Toy Company. They make toys for dog. It's their anniversary or something like that. We usually don't reserve the bar. Why did we do it this time? The clients are adorable. Excuse me? You'll see. Anything special I should know? They'll give you a ticket to trade in for any drink they want. Just do your usual thing. Okay, thank you for the scratches. Mm. And I have a potion today, so hey. Fair enough. I'll be in my office. Call me if you need me. Sure. Well then. Jukebox. First we need... Welcome to Valhalla, as per usual. Um, There was a couple of them that I want. All system go. Uh, not that. That's good, but not what I want. Actually, no. Karma Train Dream is always good. Because that's just alcohol. is nice. Hmm. Well, you don't want the gangster bar, but still. Mm -mm. Yeah, thanks as usual for all of the lovely characters. Ooh, out of orbit. Hmm. Not that. I'm trying to make it so it's good. I should have gotten my music ready first! Hmm. Scrum. Scrammy Fox. Ooh. Yes. And then we'll just go... Every day is night. Good for health, bad for driving wild. And let's just go another one of that and then get another snowfall. Another dusk and then another snowfall. There we go. There we go. That works. Got mixed drinks and changed lives. Lord Pumple Rump! I already fucking love this. Lord Pumple Rump demands a drink. Excuse me, I'll have a grizzly temple. Hello? A dog. A talking dog? Are you with the Cypher Toy Company? Yeah, did I arrive too early? 
No. The clients are adorable. Son of a bitch! A grizzly temple, right? Coming right up. This dog wants a grizzly temple! Alright. Alright. So we do. One, two, a three. One, two, a three. One, two, a three. And one karma train. All blended. So we wait for that one to actually go. Dog, dog, dog! Here you go. Thanks! This is gonna be a long weekend, isn't it? Ariel Wienerton! Hey, is the bronze and extract here produced using organic roots? I don't know that information. Anyone I can talk to about that? Here? Right now? No. But you should have that information on hand. Every BTC certified bar is no different from a fast food chain. We get the same supplies as everyone else. Ask BTC officials if you want to know. But you should. But we don't. But saying that we should over and over again is not going to change the reality of it. Yeah, welcome to retail, dog! Give me something with lots of Bronson extract then. Okay. Something with lots of Bronson. Probably bitter. We need lots of yellow. Lots and lots of yellow. I just one, three, five. Gut punch is good. Mars blast is nice. So far, it's Mars blast the best one. Mars blast it is. All right, one, two, three, four, five, and a six with one. One, two, three, four, and one, two, and dog gets blended. What is Bronson? It's kind of like hops a bit mixed with ginger. Here. What the hell is this? Your order. This is what Bronson track tastes like? You you ordered it without knowing? Sorta, of, yeah. Well, fuck that noise. It's not worth the effort. Well, fuck you too. No, it's not. Excuse me. Oh, you're here. Forehand, okay. Thank God, a person. Well, as much of a person as the designated driver can be. What I mean is, why are there so many dogs? Why dogs? Why? Well, the Corgis created the Cypher Toy Company, and they've been doing a great job, so... Something run exclusively by dogs. Really? And a good one at that. Their only problem is that they have a not-so-discreet preference for hiring Corgis exclusively. Why? Something about being more comfortable around their own kind. Ah, they're racist! Are you with them? Well, I do prefer Corgis, but... No, I mean, are you working with them? <laughs> Did he just get the insinuation that you fuck dogs? Uh, yeah, well, I'm only here because the law requires at least one humanoid on the payroll. Uh, does the law really cover such scenarios? Why take a job like this? Because it means I'm surrounded by Corgis all day long. I mean, that's a good job. Designated driver rolls aside is the best thing to happen. Although, to be fair, I'm not much of a drinker anyway. I see. Well, teach your own. Are you gonna drink anything? Do you have anything non-alcoholic? Let's see what I can fetch you. Did you intend to make a pun? A pun? Never mind. You want something non-alcoholic? Well, fine. Sorry, the dickless bastards are going around. Anyway, Carmatrine is the alcohol extract of everything, so... Let's go for that. Yeah. Okay. You know, there are other things. Armor train is something that you... Yes! That. That is what I want. A one, a two, a three, a four. Frothy water. Oh, fuck. I got aged. You know what would help is if I was an actual bartender and not mad at the motorcyclist. Yes. But here's the thing. There we go, frothy water. Here. Thanks. Are you sure this isn't alcoholic? Pretty sure. Okay. Listen, I only need to know, is it really going to be only for today? Is that all I'm gonna do all night? Serve the same kind of dog over and over again? 
vast majority of them are a member of Welsh Corgis. There are only a couple of Cardigan Welsh Corgis. But the relationship between the two breeds is a tad difficult, so the Cardigans weren't invited. Oh no, the shirts. The shirts are slang for the higher ups, that makes sense. Okay, I guess we'll be serving the same kind of dogs all night. No, I mean, isn't there some other human I might talk to today? There's a woman on staff, but she won't come today. Oh boy. Is that a problem somehow? It's not really a problem. We survived worse than this. Like with that time when an AA meeting came here and asked for non alcoholic stuff only. I just think about the fact that I'm serving drinks to dogs. Then at some point, all the choices in my life led to me serving drinks to a group of talking dogs. One of those moments that makes you want to stop and rethink where your life is going. Oh boy, do I know that. Ugh, yeah, my life is going down the shitter sometimes. But I'm doing my best. You perhaps not like this job? I mean, it's a job. It's good. I do! I love every second of the shop, but dogs! So there's at least two kinds of cor dogs in the core group, but they didn't invite one. These are some really mean corgis. They are! Like, they were hyper-intelligent, just sound like normal dogs. Oh my gosh. I mean, the Fae would ride corgis into battle, so hey. It's like a fashion designer suddenly realizing he's been designing edible underwear. I still don't see what your problem is with his dogs, but I'm not going to force the subject. You see, oh, sorry. Well, I'm going to try entertaining myself for a bit. The stuff for playing pool is underneath the table. There are also darts in the box next to the jukebox. All right, thanks for the information. Well, if you need another drink. Sure. Lady Penner. I'm feeling happy, so I'll get you one around. Actually, it's a free bar. I won't let you spoil my mood. I need one a fringe weaver. Coming right up. This dog wants a fringe weaver. All right. Dog wants that. Here you go. Still an awesome day. Yo, what's an alpha milk hunter gets some service? Okay. I fucking hate him. Dragon <laughs> fucker. Oh, I want to just give this dog squirrelies, but he can enjoy it. What may I serve you? Beer and quickly. Coming right up. This dog wants beer. The fact that the dog's name is Dragon Fucker. Damn, you're slow as shit. Well, fuck you too! Hey, boss, what was the opposite of deja vu again? Jamais vu. Yeah, that. Are you having a premonition? Something like that. That dog felt uncannily familiar. Are you bored? Not really, I was playing with the darts a bit ago. Why is beer so complicated? Because they want to get the authentic taste, not just pure alcohol nonsense. I thought about playing pool, but all the other clients are... thumb challenged. Sorry if this sounds weird, but why was the dart box so dusty? You're the first person in the year or so that I've been here that has actually played with darts. I'm thinking my boss forgot they existed. By the way, how are the dogs' clients? You've had worse. This feels like just an average customer service day. Why did I play this on a week on a weekend? <laughs> Have you had someone come in and not share to pieces? I think Jill would remember encountering Dragon Fucker. Yeah. Yeah, she was testing out her new mechanical teeth. She got banned from entering any BTC bar after that. Yeah. Here, let me get some actual stuff on the TV. There we go. With anecdotes like that. You'd think serving dogs would feel totally normal. My favorite genre of game, an actual fucking job. Okay, but here's the thing. I swore to not play Lethal Company because it felt like I was just going to work whenever I imagined playing that. I hated the idea, and I never wanted to go and actually do that ever again. And it's just like, man, now I want to play Lethal Company because I'm working at a food joint. Ugh. You'd be wrong because even then we were talking about humans. I mean, don't get me wrong, I have served a dog or two in my time, but they usually come in with someone, and they never talk. Now that I think about it, are those drinks bad for the dogs? Now you worry about that? Anecdotes, okay. No, they aren't. Only cappuccino monkeys are at risk if they drink those chemicals. Cappuccino monkeys? What? Are those real? 
Isn't it cappuccino monkeys? Anyway, you want anything to drink? Surprise me, but keep it non-alcoholic. Sure. Non-alcoholic surprise, whatever that means. Bottle drink! <laughs> uh, anything without Karma Train. I mean, we may as well get this. All blended. Are cappuccino monkeys like code monkeys for coffee places? Maybe. Here we go. Thank you. This might sound weird to ask, but they talk through your collars, right? That's right. How do they work? Not too hard, really. They're just translators. They read the dog's brains and turn their thoughts into words. Do keep in mind that today's dog breeds have more cognitive capacity than their ancestors. Yeah? It is an up situation. If you put the translators on dogs from a decade ago, they wouldn't work like they do now. Or then eat, bite, fetch, walk, happy. Yeah, I read something about that once. These are evolved dogs. These aren't your everyday normal dogs. These are advanced dogs. Oh my goodness, I'm having way too much fun fucking with people. Evolve dogs, yes! Also, hi Kai, hope you're doing well. So these dogs that without the cars would actually just be hyper-intelligent doggos who bork everywhere. Oh my gosh, it's just like the uh, cat from Nishijo after he lost the bandana. What happened? Uh, they drank alcohol, anyway. Another question, why do they wear the small tuxedos? It's good for PR. It is good for PR. You don't say. Well, it'll be a bit before we go for the day. Any other questions? Yeah, why the fuck do the dogs want to get drunk? They see humans do it and think they would be fun. Just like teens then. No, if you'll excuse me. That's an even better name. I Satan's helper. Oh, it's helper. What can I serve you? Moon. <laughs> Oh, I fucking love this. Excuse me? <laughs> a moon blast? Moon! A big moon blast? Moon! All right then. He wants a big moon blast. <laughs> All right. Dog wants a big moon blast. He's gonna get a big moon blast. All on the rocks and blended. We don't talk about the moon. Let's give him enough alcohol to make him forget. Here. Moon. <laughs> moon! Oh, I'm sorry. It wasn't picking me up. Oh my gosh. I am so sorry because I thought that it was actually picking it up on my mic. It wasn't. So, moon! Moon. Keeper. Are you speaking pig Latin? Are you a Rivek? Say, pig essay, please pay. A crevice spike shirt. Oh, you understand me? You may? Oh my gosh. I was a kid too. The dog wants a crevice spike. Oh my gosh, she's speaking pig Latin. Fucking dog speaking pig Latin was not something I needed. You know what? Let's, let's get them pissed drunk. Dog needs to get drunk. Here, hey. Thanks, Tay. All right, one more drink before we wrap things up. What do you want? I'm not picky. Give me anything. Of course. Anything, he said. Anything, you say. No, we'll give you something nice. Let's try a sugar rush. Gotta make him happy. Here you are. Thanks. So what exactly do you do? Sorry if it's rude to ask. It's a whole fucking pint. Yeah. I guess I'm what people call an office boy. Service twink. My duties usually involve looking for things, answering a few calls, that sort of stuff. With this look, being a dog on company, there are a lot more responsibilities. Like getting the stuff off the shelves and opening windows. At least they pay well. Yeah, he's the service twink! I see. Oh, shit. Um, you know what? 
My neighbor's the owner of the dogs. He told me they needed thumbs. Well, fuck, I actually hit twice. Figures. If a dog asks you to pet, is it it is that harassment? Oh my gosh, wait. Mm. <laughs> They're celebrating the company's anniversary, right? Yeah, five years ago, three corgis became dissatisfied uh, with the quality of the existing dog toys. So they founded this company. Oh, I'd love to be paid for er, opening and closing windows and such. Fuck yeah! The dogs that run the company are in, are in turn owned by uh, some other dude? Yes. So they founded this company. They got the money from their owners, if I remember correctly. I can see that happening, somehow. The STC is the second biggest dog toy company in the world. Fun fact, they started as a safer or toy development. Ain't that unfortunate. Hello! Oh no, it's our little small ball of lewd. Hmm. The bar's favorite sweetheart has arrived. Why are you quiet? I'm waiting for the audience's cheers to stop. It's our favorite. Small, pint-sized, and destructive. This isn't a sitcom. Ah, honey, how innocent. Hold on. I gotta get this one. I forgot I had this. <laughs> anyway. Um, excuse me, you are? Oh, lovely Dorothy Hayes at your serve. Wait, you're alone, not at your service then. Don't be rude to other clients. She's kind of irregular here. I, I think I've been asleep for the past three months now. Three months. I come here to see your charming face and you say I'm just kind of irregular. For shame, honey, for shame. I'm sorry, I guess. I don't think a free drink won't solve. Won't do. You playing hard to get. Even if I want to give you a drink, we're booked for the whole weekend. Don't you think you should at least put a sign up front or something? Hey, I only found out myself a few minutes ago. She can have one of my tickets if you're okay with it. I see no problem. Oh, you're so sweet. If you're at least 40% organic, I would give you a discount. Hello, disabled gamer. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Imagine you're trying to manage the diet of a doggo who can buy your entire house, least of all as much as meat as it wants. Yeah. I thought I heard Jeopardy theme for a moment. Yeah. So Dorothy only wants the organics in bed. Yeah. She remember the one guy in the other one that had like the sort of like veteran background and everything? She was asking, so how much of you use organic? Discount? You don't need to know. So who booked you? This guy? Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Mion. Yay for September! Thank you! So I have a chance. Yeah! Thank you, Miani. The Safer Toy Company. What do they do? We, um, they create dog toys. Oh, lovely! Every dog needs a plug. It's also run by dogs. Oh, don't joke like that. You think I'd kid about something like that? You mean that if I turn around, I, I see dogs? Yeah, didn't you see them when you came in? I just entered without looking anywhere else in the bar. You look troubled. I'm not much of a dog person. I even charged extra if my clients wanted doggy style. <laughs> oh, I fucking love it. Doggy? You don't need to know. I'm gonna take this ticket and trade it in the next Monday. I'm leaving right now. The ticket would have expired by then, though. She looks like the kind of girl that will hold you to your promise regardless. Isn't that obvious? Well, I have to keep... I had to gather the cabs outside. Keep it up, bartender. Good night. Yeah, you too. Good night. Come again. All right, Sarah. The night's over. You have kennels you need to return to. All done. Yeah. Boss, how do you end up being booked by dogs? I know some dogs myself. Huh. And you told me you were booked the whole weekend, right? That's right. Please bear with it. We're all doing our part, after all. Yeah, yeah. Well, I gotta go for standby. Take care. Saturday, December 10th. Oh boy, it just goes to the next one. Perfect. Good evening. Day two of serving dogs. Are you ready? Let me just change the TV channel. There you go. No. Cheer up! No. <laughs> that attitude won't make things easier for yourself. This is just me in retail. 
Those things scare me. No respect for personal space. Dogs are good. They're trained well. This is why I like me. <laughs> Serving dogs won't ease things either. Have you ever heard of anything from Gil? Nope, but he should be having fun wherever he is. Also, did you know we had darts? Yeah, I did. Why didn't you tell me? Because you're that kind... That's the kind of stuff you should just assume. Target board usually comes with a set of darts. You like darts, boss? Not particularly, but now I owe an apology to someone. Anyway, call me if you need me. Hmm. Sure. Well then. Alright. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Oh, hey, can I have a big beer, please? What's up, Betty? I got a human. Sure, coming right up. Beer! 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 Oh, shit. Yeah, this is just me being a ditzy bartender because I have not had any kind of nonsense in a while. That should be good. All next! Success! Are these dogs trained? No. If they're trained well, an optimistic assumption. Yeah. Here. Thank you. May I ask what you do for these dogs, Miss, um, Beatrice? But everyone calls me Betty. And why do you need to know this? <laughs> if you've been stuck with dogs all day, you'll be curious when a human walks in. Fair enough. I'm the veterinarian. They're all your clients. Did you steal their testicles? Yeah. Don't be issued vet. I mean, I have my own office, but it's in their building. So you're Betty the vet. Oh, cram it. Sorry, not in the mood for your puns right now. I'll keep it in mind. Anything else I might need to avoid for springing up around you besides puns? Enhancements, but that's hard to shove into the conversation in the first place. Uh, the music is so comfy I get Ace Attorney vibes from it somehow. It does have that, and I do want to play Ace Attorney on stream eventually. Noted. Why do you have against enhancements anyway? They are unnatural. They go against the very idea of human evolution. Oh boy, you live in a cyberpunk universe. You have your rights to your own body, but I know some humans who would love to have bullet knees or something stupid like that. Hmm. You're okay, Mion. Oh, thank you, Yama! Can I collab when you do the Ace Attorney voices and such? Yes, yes, that was actually the plan, Annie. I knew you were gonna ask anyway. I was gonna take you on your offer regardless. Oh shit, hype cream soon. You officially moved? Thank you! What was she saying about human evolution? She's saying that, like, cybernetic enhancements go against the way of human evolution and such, which... Eh? That's like saying the same thing for crutches. Show to your lawyers, yes! Hi! Thank you! Thank you, Coyote! Hype train. Just so you all know, Twitch is having a special on bits and it's September, so hey. Well, talking is against dog evolution. What do you say now, ba dog ball snatcher? <laughs> she... Annie, now I'm just thinking she just takes out, like, one of those, like, extendo, like, T-Rex things that, like, can grab onto stuff, and she just rips off dog testicles like that. <laughs> like, I'm their veterinarian. I make the job fun. <laughs> Thank you, Mion! Meowers. Yeah. Meowers. Yeah. But yeah, um... Twitch is having a special right now where if you cheer, like, bits in general, they, like, will match at, like, 20% or something. I forget what the exact number is. I don't know why, but I'm thankful. It's, like, September, so it's, like, whatever. Yes, thank you. Remember, everyone, you don't have to. It's just fun. Anyway, but there's a certain wall that humans can't cross without enhancements. It's not like having something replaced will automatically make you an expert in things. If anything, getting enhancements sets you back until you get used to it. Yeah, but it just makes things too easy on paper. Anyone with money can replace their body parts and call it a day. But you have a point. Skill doesn't ship with enhancements. At least not yet. I could channel energy more often. I do so much better. You're good, Annie. You're good. Sorry the outburst. I have a story with enhancements. Oh, I don't mind. It's way more entertaining than serving drinks to talking dogs! Ken, Sorry. <laughs> Speaking of which, that's my job right now. Do you want another drink? I'm fine for now. I'll be need anything. Sure. Work! <laughs> hey, 
Hey, have you seen a red dot? I hate this. I've seen many things in my life, but a red dot? Not today, no. Do you have any red drinks? Red drinks? Yeah, the drink might know something. Right. A uh, red drink. Mars Blast. Tack, <laughs> thank you. Hold on, give me a moment. Yes, hype train. And it's still quiet for some reason. I don't know why. Okay. Alright. I think the Mars glass counts as a red drink. I know there's like one that's like real fucking red. Go for the chain. Thank you, Mion. The bloody one was that? Yeah, the bleeding chain. Tony gets us up. Yeah. You enjoy your emotes and everything. Let's go for the bleeding chain. All right, one drink coming up. All blended. How do you know the doggo's names? Because they interest themselves. That's why Jill does, yes. Here. Thanks! Okay, Punk, hear me out. You're gonna tell me where that red dot went or I'll drink you. I'm not plucking, I'll drink you all up. Okay, this one's fun. Bangkok Bastard. Those damn Pomeranians think they can come in and take your drugs. Excuse me? We've been getting some serious media attention because the company only hires corgis. Must be slow news day. But you know what I say? It's good that we don't hire anyone else. Oh my gosh, this dog's terrible. We don't need- Oh my gosh, he is terrible! What the fuck, dog? Next thing you know, they'll be asking us to hire cats. Jeez, dog! Wouldn't they bring other new skills to the company? Shut up! What do you know? Now give me a bad touch. Actual racist dog! It does! A bad touch for the dog, yeah. Bad touch for a bad dog. Here you go. Here. <clears throat> racist dogs, what are the odds? Wait, if I can't tell the difference between them, does that make me racist too? Wouldn't it matter if you're racist against racists? <laughs> oh, what are you gonna do? Offend the Nazis? <laughs> hmm. Bartender, please stop dosing off. I need booze. Sorry, what can I get you? I'll have a Zen Star. Sure. But what's a Zen Star? Four of each ingredient. Sorry, I was quoting Helsing. Deep. See, it's racism squared. Here. Thank you. Something on your mind? Going to lend an ear. It's in the job description, kind of. Okay, so you mentioned the thing about talking dogs. I thought people throughout the ages have always dreamt about talking with animals. Never mind the fact we could always understand their body language. Now that we understand them, what do we find out? They're just very adorable little office workers. And racist. How did you scratch that? I got to meet a furry office worker with half the Christmas, these little guys. I mean, if you need a furry office worker, I can just put someone in a suit. You've met furry office workers? Are they the IT team? Oh, I've seen my share of this world, bartender. Sounds like you're tired. It's fleas and tick season. I am tired. Willing to lend an ear. Pulls out a comically large piece of corn. Yeah, but I'm gonna need it back before the end of the night. <laughs> to your tick, don't you dare. Him. Well, this whole free bar thing is nice, though, I guess. It would have been nicer if we actually had time to get properly ready. What do you mean? I found out about the booking yesterday as I was getting ready. Did the client ask for something special? Was there something I need to know about them? My boss didn't specify anything. All she said to me was pretend like any other day. That was a script on our end. I'm sorry. They were desperately looking for a place to celebrate. I was actually surprised to find out they got a place. Why all of a sudden plans? Did they, did they forget the anniversary or something? We found a place, but the cardigans were the ones that hired it. 
Then some stupid argument arose and the Cardigans decided they didn't want to have any Pembrokes at their party. I swear to God, these dogs are like annoying little suburban kids. What are these Cardigans I keep hearing about? Oh, just another kind of Corgi. Except with different fur colors and a slightly different attitude. Jeez, Milan. <laughs> okay. Question: Does pineapple belong in lasagna? I would say try it once just to fuck with everyone. I want to see it because I like it. Two households align. Indignity happened for her Verona. We lay our scene. I thought you said in there with their fursonas. Oh my gosh. Thank you all for the hype train. Means a lot for me though. Ah. Uh. All this is so silly. I've seen dogs with cats, dogs playing with other dogs, and dogs mating with dogs twice their size. Hype chest. Oh! Interesting. They added new hype train emotes, and they made it into a freaking uh, gotcha system. Great. Thanks, Twitch. And dogs mating with dogs twice their size. Well, that's what happens when you have dogs mating your owners. I mean, that's the reason they are in a bar in the first place. But I guess the media focus on the Pembroke probably doesn't help. <sighs> well, if you'll excuse me, I have dogs, too. Yeah. Mm, oh, yeah, yeah, do your job, don't mind me. Tortilla Pope! The Tortilla Pope! Hey, buddy! Hello. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Um, you? I- Whoa! Thanks, buddy! What can I serve you? Well, a big sunshine cloud would be nice. Coming right up. Dogs on a big sunshine cloud. I mean, probably the dogs. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And oh boy, we're. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> we do seem to be serving a lot of blended drinks. Here. Aw, aren't you a cutie? Loopy doopy poo. Woof. You know what I hate, man? Poo rate. Oh, courage. What do you hate, dog? Cabbages, man! They're like lettuces that decided to go to the gym. They think they're a big deal because their leaves are harder. Guess what? I don't want them! Oh no, dog, do you want anything? Four cabbages do not exist. I meant to drink. Oh, I have a big grizzly temple then. I can do that. Okay. Grizzly temple. And two promo train, all blended. Yeah, cabbage is tasty though. I like getting Okonomiyaki. Here you go. Chill out for a bit, dog. Thanks, man. Bartender? Yeah? Do you have anything sweet? We're talking about drinks, right? Are you hitting on me? If that's how you want to see it. Let me see what I can get you. I make it big. You like them big? <laughs> Great. It's not the size, but how you sell it. Gourmet food exists for the sole reason. No! No, it does not. Or then they're cheap people out of all their money. Wise words. She wants a big sweet drink. Is she hitting on her? Jill wants all the stuff. Trust me. I said a thing up the red. Let me see. Uh, what are you going to do? Offend the Nazis? I seriously had something in the King Club. Object the strongly war urge to the trial of the little Uh, Yeah, that's a thing. Man, this is going to be a fun video to put on YouTube. Sugar Rush, Sunshine Cloud, oh, no. Blue Fairy, mmm, sweet, girly, and soft, yes. Let's get her drunk! Yes. She was a corpo type, too, yeah. You know, I'm curious, what's the weirdest client you've ever gotten? I wouldn't be able to tell you. There's many kinds of weird. Honestly, the song is really good, yeah. Pick the first one that came to mind. Well, there was the one guy that spent 30 minutes arguing with himself before ordering. That's not that weird. He came in wearing a velociraptor mask and wouldn't stop screaming. 
He loves humming Moonlight Sonata afterwards. Oh, yeah, that's weird. At least enough of you left a nice tip. Speaking of an anecdotes, thank you for your the enhancements. Oh. Shacker Blaker X, thank you for following both the Akito Academy. Hope you have a lovely time when you're here. If you summon the third movement, that's fucking impressive. I know, right? Thank you for existing. Thank you for existing as well, random viewer. This seems like a personal thing. It doesn't sound like it's a question of ethics. And honestly, I'm really bored. Heh. <laughs> sure, I can continue a bit. Back when I was a college freshman, some of my friends of mine decided to get their enhanced hands. It was around the time we all started practice sur sur surgery. They just wanted to bypass all the practice needed. And so they hired the shady character who would supposedly hook them up. I only talked to one of them out of it. The others went off with the guy and got their hands chopped off. This is one of the stories that ends badly, I'm guessing. Yeah, four girls underwent the shady surgical procedure. Two lost their hands, one was left in an arthritic mess, and the last died on the operation table. Well, fuck! But yeah, I'm not too fond of enhancements. Especially if they're taken in a way to avoid the effort. An instant soup costs $59.99. Look, this is hyperinflation to the max. This is like, given the cheapest drink here is $80 now. Yeah. This culture of become better automatically with enhancements really gets on my nerves. Yeah, it's like a meritocracy or a plutocracy, but worse. Oh, not plutocracy, oligarchy. Oh, wait. Photography is with money, right? Yeah, plutocracy is by money. That's what I'm thinking. I'm just wondering why there's an organic human hand black market. Look, when you want to do the perfect crime but say that's someone else, you can do that. The story sounds so familiar. Didn't she kind of have a bleached mustache and tattooed black eyebrows? He also talked using an electro larynx. You've seen him? Technocrat? Uh, technocracy? Yeah, kind of. No, but I remember news about the police catching someone who is performing illegal surgeries. Never thought I'd meet someone affected by him. It's a small world, isn't it? Well, I guess I gotta check on the dog and see if they're fine. Here, I'll keep serving them booze. Thanks for sharing the story. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I immediately feel bad for this dog! Hi, accident! Hey man, have you ever felt like time is moving by too fast? Tonight I'm feeling it's not moving by fast enough. Lucky you. Well, that they say that a time feels like it's going to be too, by too fast. You're having a good time. What can I serve you? I want a bad touch. Sorry, coming right up. Dog wants a bad touch. Don't! Don't think of that! Do not! Bad chill brain. Here you go. Have a good time out there. Maybe you're right. Thanks. Dog 5, okay. Now we're just in a freaking Dragon Quest game where we have to fight the dogs, okay. Jill's class would be shitless. Bartender, hmm. One Brantini, please. Sure. I need a Brantini. An actually reasonable dog. I think owners of the dogs named them. I mean, having some dogs be named all sorts of fun stuff like that, yeah, I want that. Here. Excuse me, the beat room mats are dirty. Sorry, I'll change it. Now I'll leave it like that. No, I ruined the Brantini anyway. Hey, bartender! Bartender. Then barter. Tar vendor. Oh, fuck! We actually made her drunk! Your job has a funny name. You don't say. You're a cute bard enter. I swear, I could just eat you up. Hi, Sasha! Chibi. That's oh, good. Ah, oh, my neck actually needed that. Thank you. Hmm. Please don't. When did you get drunk? I've been a little dizzy for a while now, but it just probably kicked in. Also, also, some of the dogs invite me over for a drink. Except I'm not drunk. Right. Can you give me a small brantini? I will definitely pay you money. But you don't have to pay me. Oh, will, will you really buy that drink? You're so lovely. Yeah, let's leave it at that. She wants a brantini. A normal one. She wants a normal one! I could make it big. I'm not gonna make it shit. one. I'm not gonna make it big for her. Alright. Here. Shucks, this is smaller than I thought. You're in no position to drink anything more than a thimbleful. 
Maybe you're right. Hey, what made you become a veterinarian? I love animals. They're so cute, so funny, so... So... Huggable. I want to keep them happy. That's why I became a veterinarian. It's not always easy. Was that $200 for a thimble of alcohol? Translated to our money, it'd be like about seven bucks. But the knowledge that I've helped these cute, cuddly, squishy animals lets me sleep like a baby at night. Lovely. Speaking of love, have you ever been in love, Brand Burt? I should make customers drunk more often. Haven't we all been in love at some point in our lives? Why? I need advice and you look like a nice person. Um, sure, thanks. Just put that on that. Um, actually, it's about someone who's really focused on this job, so I figured you'd understand. I see. So, what do you need to know? How do you get the attention of someone like that? Of someone that's so hyper-focused on something he disregards everything else. Um, taking an interest in whatever he's obsessed with is a good start. But there's really no science at this. They can feel loved and special, like you would do with anyone else. Are you sure? He's like, really, really, really obsessed. If he's a decent member of society, yeah, I see no problem with that. I hope you're right. I'm fresh off a breakup and I seriously need a hug. Oh yeah, how long is the fact it's a guy? beg your pardon? I'm not into guys, but this here is a guy. What do I do? Um. Right! Need to serve dogs. Sorry. No! No, keep going with this! I want to help her! I need to fix her bisexual random person that we love! She's finding out she's bi! I need to hug her! Let me hug her! No! Oh, no need. We're leaving. Yes! Already? Don't worry, we'll come back tomorrow. Right. Thank God. I mean, God, God. God damn it. <laughs> Done for the day, I'm guessing? Yeah. You might want to get some insecticide or something to make sure we're not full of fleas. What does the health inspector think of the sun? The health inspector is too afraid to come to this part of the city, so I'll assume he's fine with it. Right. I fucking love it. Say, boss, you look tense. Really? Weird. So I'll call the day here. Thank you for your hard work. Amazing. One more day of this nonsense. I love it. I love it so much. Good evening. Hmm. You look bummed, boss. Starting tomorrow, there will be no more corgis in our bar. Why wouldn't I be sad? Maybe because starting tomorrow, girl, there will be no more corgis in the bar. I wonder if the Shiba Appreciation Society might be interested in booking us. Shiba! 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 We're problem at a time, boss. Wait, I know someone from the uh, Pomeranian Development Institute. One problem at a time! Let me see what else is on. Here we go, boxing. That will do. Oh, you've been tense over er, since Friday. Are you worried about good or something? I know the logistics of these dogs ordering, moving, and drinking these beverages. Yes! Trust me, of all my worries, Gil is the least of them. Come on some music and enjoy the day, won't you? Right. As per usual, time to mix drinks and change the lives. Bartender, we meet again. You mean, bar er, enter. Oh, Miss Betty. Hello. And Mr. Corgi Lover. Call me Deal. Deal. Deal? Deal. What that satisfied look off your face is you too. Oh my gosh! The robot loves puns! Yes! Um, what can I serve you today? I'll have a beer. I'm not that designated driver today, so give me a fringe weaver. Alright, coming right up. I need one fringe weaver and one beer. And someone's mowing their lawn, because it's only when it's 80 out will they actually mow their lawns. Next. And then a fringe weaver. Pun lover, so does that mean she wants to date dealer than someone else? Deal. He wants deal. Deal. Immediately going, oh, I want a fringe weaver. Goes for the most alcoholic thing without me adding anything else. Yeah. 
It's like drinking ethylic alcohol with a spoonful of sugar. Yeah. Here. Thanks. Thank you. You seem distracted. Has there been so many dogs found gone to you? No, well, yeah, but it's not that. If she wants to deal, she needs to deal with her puns. Yeah. My boss has been acting weird since Friday. Weird how? Romantic weird? Drug addict weird? Let's hope nobody finds the body in the fridge weird. <laughs> Look, that last one is easy to deal with if you eat the body. Perfect advice, huh? For starters, says in fact she's only told me we were being booked moments before we opened. Plus, she seems completely distracted or lost in her thoughts. Like you. <laughs> oh, I love how it just feels real. Worse. Oh. She's not being herself, and that makes me wonder if something's going on. Like, what, do you run a human traffic ring in the basement? No, we don't have a license for that. <laughs> we don't have our illegal license yet. Oh, well, thinking about it too much is not part of my job. Can I ask you another thing about your job? Sure. I've always been curious. What does the BTC need in their bartenders? What do you need to study? They train you from scratch, so you don't have to study anything beforehand. What is the training law? It's a lot of etiquette and regulation work. Most of our time, that was actually spent in the simulations. Simulations? Different scenarios involving different chemical chemical hazards, that sort of thing. They want you to be able to respond to every possible situation that might come up involving our ingredients. I mean, the chance for failure is really slim, but better not think of those chances. I see. I'll be back with you guys in a bit. I must attend to the other clients. Dogs. Yeah. Oh, sure. Mr. Puff! So this is what happened to him. They're chasing me, man! Who? Oh. The cabbages, man! The goddamn cabbages! They're everywhere! They're out for my rump! Your... Never mind. Can I get anything to calm down? A big blue fairy would be nice! Okay, then. The dog wants a big blue fairy! <laughs> okay, yeah, this dog needs some alcohol to kind of sober up a little bit. So we're gonna go in all in. Go all in and mix the dogs drunks. Cyrano, yes. Here. Thanks, very nice of you. Third bark day. <sighs> Something the matter? Nothing a drink can't solve. I'm not sure about that, but it's hardly my job to free sobriety. What do you want? Give me a gut punch. Okay. Flew back on the gut punch. Gut punch. One gut punch. One gut punched. I just imagine you fucking biting the dog. Yes. Yeah, this is our cheapest drink here with eighty dollars. Here you are. Thanks. Hey, you ever felt guilty for being born the wrong race? Shit, dude. You're kind of getting real there. The what now? I've just been hearing so much about more racist. I'm wondering, are you racist? Not really. Do you feel like other corgis might be? Definitely. I mean, then why worry? It's not like they're calling you racist. You probably shouldn't take generalizations for generalizations personally. You might be right. And you should have seen the cutie I saw yesterday on the way home. She looks like a cat boomer. She was wearing a mini dress and had this prosthetic eye. Oh, yep. I thought you were against people using prosthetics. I'm not against cute though. Besides, I'm not only I'm not against prosthetics, I'm only against enhancements. I don't see a difference between the two. Alright, let me put it this way. If you lost an arm, replace it with a mechanical arm, that is exactly what the older one did. I'm okay with it. Yeah, the cat boomer, also known as the fucking bodyguard of cute red. But if you lost your arm and replace it with a gun-loaded super arm from hell, they call you Doom Guy. That's not something I'm okay with. Oh, jeez, my drink is making me hard to speak for. Even worse is if you decide to replace your arm because of fashion, or whim, or to get better at some sport. That's completely not cool. That's the difference between a prosthetic and an enhancement. Replacement versus, er, enhancement. I have a similar opinion about Lilin replacing your factory parts with picks. If you think that's going to be an easy way of getting better at something, you for a bad surprise. Well, I can see why you think that, but... What suggests you to that she hasn't used an enhancement? 
If she has had bad eyesight, wouldn't that count as enhancement, even if it fixes it? How does one reparative work factor into your ideologies? How does reparative work? Sorry about that. They might be enhancements, but they also replace something faulty. Well, um... Damn it, stop making sense, you piece of scrap. You're weakening my resolve. Having fun? Oh, bartender, that was fast. There seems to be less dogs out today. At least dogs that want to drink. Yeah, it's always like, hey, what if you have something that's actually fucking you over and you get something new that is not bad? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, some of them ate their tickets. Ugh, lovely, I'll be the one dealing with that later. Say, where you, where'd you take on the whole enhancement discussion, bartender? My mom had a saying, anyone can make a chandelier out of their asses. Which somehow means your body, your choices. They're not hurting anyone. I don't see any point in hating them. Exactly! I don't care what they do. They can have the things so long as they don't hurt anyone. See you, buddy? Hey, I didn't say I automatically hate anyone who has enhancement. Me being against something isn't the same as me being against someone. I'm not some 12-year-old blindly hating someone because of something like that. Yeah, me. That is that is basically me. I hate people's choices, but it doesn't mean I hate people unless they go that far enough to make it their whole entire personality. Looking at some people around here that I live near, yeah. Maybe you should practice what you preach. What does that mean? I fear retaliation, so I'm not saying another word. Are you two gonna order anything? I'm fine right now. She's drinking mine, actually. Alright, call if you need anything else. John Laser I took it too far. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Let's see. Yeah, ow! So much for avoiding retaliation. I think I'm going to believe you, Poop Eater. I was in the bathroom and this other dog was hit me from the top of the sink. You mean the mirror? No, another dog! I see. What can I serve you? You're not going to do anything about the other dog on top of the sink? I'm sure he doesn't want to hurt anybody. Don't worry. <laughs> the loathsome dung eater! Fuck it is! I hope you're right. Well, I want something really sweet. Come right up. Fuck, I want something really sweet. You got it. Let's go for Sugar Rush. And let's go for all the alcohol in the world again. We gotta make him so drunk that that dog on top of the sink means nothing. The hyper-intelligent dog still doesn't go past the mirror test. Nope. Here you go. Nice. Please think about the thing with the other dog on top of the sink. I will, don't worry. Well then. That was quick. Like I said, there aren't too many dogs today. When I heard someone booked us for three days, I expected more of an attendance. While you were gone, Stella here said this thing about a BK bread and a pile driver. Please, prove him wrong. All I'm saying is that I don't see the point in drinks that feel like more like they pick in the mouth for the beverage. What do you think, bartender? Do you think there's any point discussing non alcoholic like drinks in a bar? In my opinion, people who order a bad touch always make me giggle like an idiot, though. That's not an opinion, that's a statement. Every time the alcohol's off, no Yang just cranks it up to, uh, is that a million? Yeah, it's a million percent, yeah. Oh well. Please serve us either pal drivers or bleeding canes. We'll let you decide which one is better. Come right up. Pal driver and or bleeding Jane. Two of any of those. Mmm. Well, we are trying to help her. So fine. It is because it's literally just booze. All right. Here. Jackpot. Oh well. How did you two end up discussing that? Well, it started when I told this guy that I wasn't just crazy about the idea of working just for corgis. Why don't you like corgis? They're cute and fluffy and funny, and they just, like, make you smile. Tell me one interesting thing about them. Let's just say they were created by a fairy and that they were bred and raised by a dragon. Thank you for saying what I said earlier! Oh, you have to be kidding. No, I actually heard that one, too. I heard that one, too, too. Really? Still, I can't see why, they're so sick, why you're so sick of them. You know, maybe because I only ever deal with them at their worst? Whales victory, yes! Victory for whales! You've only seen them in their happy state. I'm 
the one running PC samples and unclog their sphincters if they eat their owner's dental floss. I might be their veterinarian, but they treat me more like a mom and not in a good way. It's like being a gynecologist. After a while, you stop seeing boobs and vaginas. Instead, all you see are issues you must fix. <laughs> I mean, honestly, yeah. A whale could totally beat a dragon? Fuck yeah. At least there are cute issues. Depends. A gynecologist can't pick clients by age or preferences. I was talking about your job. Oh, yeah, that too. Well, I don't think that there's much of that. I'm tired of them. It's... Yeah. I don't think this is so much that I'm tired of them as it is that I'm tired of you being so obsessed with them. I'm not obsessed. I'm passionate. You sleep with a corgi plushie and have a wall dedicated to photos you've taken at the company. I'm really passionate? Too much passion can become an issue, you know. Speaking of issues, did you talk with the directors about the whole cardigan conflict? I was going to do that tomorrow when they're all together. But I still don't see why I should be the one doing it. For starters, they don't take me too seriously. Understandable. I don't take you seriously either. <laughs> I mean, in the end, they're still dogs. They need someone with a strong, commanding voice. Are you saying I have a naggy voice? No, not your voice. Just your entire demeanor. So I have a naggy demeanor? I'm assuming you two are walking about the uh, talking about the whole race conflict. Yeah, this is hurting more than them more than they think. The company might collapse at this rate. Which is terrible, because a couple of these dogs' families are dependent on their paychecks. Doesn't that count as unethical and unusual treatment of animals? They have a legal gray area. The dogs are doing it willingly, after all. And, even if they aren't doing it willingly, the dogs are actually being mistreated or exploited. In fact, the company's pretty relaxed. Speaking of relaxed, how's Jurgen going? He's fine, still complaining about his back, still unwilling to take his medicine. He says he's not the weak. Who's this Jurgen guy? My guardian. I passed the test years ago, but I couldn't leave him. That's actually commonplace, isn't it? Willem being unable to leave their guardians because they feel too much like family. Now, to be fair, people get attached to many things. Some even get obsessed with inanimate objects. Ah yes, packed bonding with everything. My grandpa loved his car more than any of his sons. The ones who will... Oh. The one whose will left all his earthly possessions to his car, right? Yeah, that one. How do you become a Willem's guardian? You fill a form with the Artificial Intelligence Council. Then they do a background check if they deem you useful. They'll give you authorization. Jurgen. JSRY and Jurgen Chairman. Well, I'm sorry. I was mispronouncing things. I'm sorry. I'm kind of in an energetic mood for no reason. Oh. Oh my gosh, my voice. Mm. Better. I'm sorry, I've been tired. I've been doing the dishes all day. Then they, then they do a background check. If they deem you useful, they'll give you authorization. You're given a week's notice before they give you all the data about the loan you'll be taken care of. You'll have to watch over it until it can pass three different personality tests. You're good, Algie. You're good. The loan wants to stay with you after that. That's your problem. So it's like adopting the lottery all rolled into one. They do that to diversify the possible outcomes. Two loans can be of the same model, but they'll grow differently depending on their guardians. What if something happens to their guardian? A new guardian can appeal to the council, stating they're more of a fixed position than the original. This happens when a guardian has become unavailable in some way. Or because you can back up claims of neglect for maltreatment. You spit out all that information like it's hard coded in you. I worked in the department for some time before coming into the STC. It's almost a reflex. Are you interested in becoming a guardian bartender? I don't know. I'm just a nerd when it comes to AIs in general. The money they give you for it is not that great, though. I see. Well, time to check on the dogs. Money Shredder! Oh, I love you. Um, let us end capitalism. Listen here, punk. Sorry, I didn't mean to call you a punk. It's just... I was chasing my tail, and now I'm too hyper to control myself. Zoomies. He has zoomies. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Just give me anything. All right. Hi, Kimi. The dog wants anything. I wonder if it's safe to give him sweet. Well, we need something sobering. Uh, where is sobering? Come on. Let's start at the beginning. Here we go. Bleeding Jane. Sobering. 
you massively overslept, you're good. It's okay. Give this dog something spicy. Here. Whew. That's better. Thanks, punk. No, see, I can see the value of other dog races. Like Pomeranians, those are nice, but they aren't corkies. Understandable completely. I've slept in far too many times and you can ever think of. Thanks for the head, Fatsy Annie. Well, yeah, I can understand that. I mean, remember that cute girl from yesterday I mentioned earlier? Yeah. The white knight that was with her, she wasn't half bad either. I mean, it was obvious that the tapestry of muscles are hidden under her armor. Tapestry of muscles. That is good. I prefer more delicate looking girls, though. I'm just gonna hide over here. <laughs> you can't appreciate how something looks, but that doesn't mean it's necessarily your thing. And you, bartender? Me, what? Which dog race do you prefer? That's not the question I was expecting. That's not the question I was expecting. Not much of a dog person, actually. Do you have any pets? A cat named Four. Yeah. He's just a stray I rescued. Do you like rescuing girls, too? I'm sure I should be making a witty report right now, but I'm just gonna go into and say no. Weird. I've always thought that the rescue fantasy was universal. Why call it Four? Four is a little I met some time ago that... Never mind. Did you just call your cat something that was a sex worker? Betty is trying to hit on you, it seems. Let me hug Betty. She is cute. I love her. Never mind. Pretty lame name, if you ask me. Better than calling it asshat. I bet when you and four play, it's quite the sight, eh? Deal? You are one of my favorite customers. Yeah, I love when four plays, too. Yeah. He's so lousy. Sometimes I fear four shadows my presence entirely. You guys want to lose consciousness that much? You really need to calm down with the whole pun-hating stuff, Betty. But to move away from this whole foreground. <laughs> he keeps doing it! <laughs> he keeps doing it! It's great! What is this rescue fantasy you mentioned before? I was expecting just to see her deck him. <laughs> it's great. You know, the one more way where dangerous souls redeem themselves through the power of love. The bad boy who turns away a life of crime. I guess we should just forget this whole bit. I'm gonna hurt you coyote. <laughs> the drug addict girl who lived on the streets and turned tricks until she found a good man and we're changing for. Are you Are you the one who's into Hallmark movies? Oh, we can't get along anymore. Don't need to be forceful. Coyote. Why? Why do you do this, coyote? Why do you do this to me? Oh my goodness. It's corny romance cliches 101. Hallmark movies, gotcha. Well, you're the one with a shelf full of old lady romance novels. I'll trust you on this. She does like Hallmark Christmas movies. Fuck, I can't date her. It's fortunate that I'm so good at puns. I'm, I'm gonna hurt you, Coyote. Hey, Fabio the 13th is a national treasure. Fabio the 13th, okay. You don't even like guys. Why do you read all these novels? You let you put yourself in the place of the main character quite easily. Even if said main character is a muscular man. I see no problem. Fabio the 13th, I love it. Now that I'm just expecting a horror movie based on yesterday's nonsense. Just, what is your self-image? If I can ask something else... What is it? Why do you hate puns so much? Many people cringe at puns, you know? Yeah, but you rap like you have a vendetta against them. They made me feel stupid. What? When I was a kid, everyone in my house had a penchant for making puns at the drop of a hat. I was the only one who couldn't get them. Years later, I finally got them, and they weren't that funny. They made me feel stupid. All the name was some terrible joke that wasn't even funny in the first place. I've said this so many times, I might as well just make a recording, but you need to chill out, Betty. You need to chill out, Betty. I am chilling out. Just because I complain about stuff doesn't mean I'm not relaxed. I mean, yeah, true, Betty. We're, we're still vibing. We're still vibing. Just drop the hallmark stuff and we're good. I'm not sure that's how it works. Trust me. When I'm tense and angry, you'll know it. Hi, Drac. I fear the thought. 
Anyway, I'll go check on the dogs. I'm supposed to be their doctor, and they are being suspiciously quiet. Just like with kids, if anything is suspiciously quiet, you don't want to, like, you want to make sure you check on it immediately. Be careful. You want anything else? I'll have a bloom light, actually. I think that's two, please. Here. Two bloom lights, okay. Oh, he doesn't want to cross. A genre rocks and mixed, gotcha. That's right, right? Okay. Do you need to look up the drink formula? I'm gonna hurt you, but I'm gonna hurt this fly even more. Oh my gosh. Here. Thanks. Say, you two seem to be getting along quite well. Well, when you're the only two sentient humanoids in the entire company, it kind of happens. Sentient? <clears throat> we have a couple of test mannequins and cardboard cutouts, so... I see. Seems there's more to it than just that, though. I mean, even if you two are the only ones of your kind, you can still hate each other. I'm just realizing you changed all my PNGs since I, I, I've made the chest bigger. Ah, gotcha. Oh? Wait, Annie, oh? Oh? If you put a the cat in a tuxedo, would that be formal? Yeah. Well, I guess I'm one of the few that can stand Betty. She's a really nice person, but she doesn't sugarcoat things. Yeah, I can see that. You probably won't even notice Sensei. Damn it! You see her treating those dogs. She becomes so patient and understanding, even if it's only for a little while. Ah, uh, yes, the one millimeter, Annie! Become plush, yes. The dogs don't call her mom to mock her. Can dogs mock people? I don't know. Even if it's only for a little while. You were eavesdropping? So you can say nice things once in a while. You say it, it's like I'm being the aggressive one here. It's nice hearing people say good things about you once in a while, you know? So from B to C. B to BB. You should take your own advice. Maybe some other time I'm not a hug box. Oh, you're, I'm not a hug box. I want to hug you. Betty, let me hug you. Anything happen? A dog in the bathroom got angry at his own reflection in the mirror and charged into it. Oh, fuck! Luckily, nothing bad happened. It just made a dog very confused. How the hell do they get on top of the sinks? They're surprisingly agile, even with those stubby little legs. Oh, yeah, I ordered you this. Oh, thanks. By the way, Betty, that's Veronica. She, we broke up last month. What? Well, things were not going so well. I got too used to one another. Everything was starting to become routine. Mmm. We decided to break up before things got better. Did the doggos wash their paws in the sink? Yes. Betty and Veronica? Is that a reference I don't know? Archie Comics, right? Fuck! No! Everything's a reference! No! And why didn't you tell me that before? What? Did you want your turn the Betty Mobile? I don't know. I guess I just didn't want to trouble you. Was it Veronica's warrior jeans? Oh my gosh, I hate it. And after a while, it's not really like something relevant to say. Please don't do that again. Try trusting me. Yeah, you're right. You know what bothers me? The fact that asking after someone's health always feels like you're walking on a floor full of glass shards. Yeah. There's always that chance that the other person is not okay or even dead. And what started as a legitimately fun move can go sour. Yeah, you're right. Sorry for not trusting you, you piece of scrap. Don't worry, I understand why you did it. Hey, now that I think about it, you sure hang out with us a lot, bartender. Well, dogs can only be so interesting, and besides, there haven't been many dogs today. Is my presence unwanted? No, no, especially since you're the one bringing the booze. You're like those cab drivers that let the chat all the way. You smell better than most of them. Thank you. The funny thing is that we are unofficially associated with the local taxi line. You're the ones that send drunkards to their homes. You seem to really, really like talking to your clients. That's the best part of your job or something. Yeah. See, I like talking too. I think a fun bartender, but I would have a no smoking policy. It kinda is. I used to sit around in crowded places like malls or bars and think to myself, each and every person here has a story. It's a humbling experience. See, I would love to be a bartender. 
But that would be a whole, like, thing I need to be, like, paid for and not paid off. I had to get a degree for and such. Not a degree, a certification. Don't most bars have no spoken policies? Uh, no. Not around here. That's why I don't go to money. Everyone has dreams, fears, and loved ones. If you dig deep enough, you'll realize that the gap between two random people isn't as big as you think it is. In fact, it's quite small. And in this job, you get to hear all kinds of stories. Some people just blur it all out, some do it while drunk. To know that no matter how similar they might seem at first glance, no two people are alike. It's fascinating. You could be a powerful information broker with all that knowledge. Nah, not interested. Uh, it's good music. It is Drive Me Wild. I like to see myself more as a friendly ear rather than someone you need to be worried of. Those are some decent folks out there. I'm not decent? You're critically obsessed with dogs! I'll go check if there's any other dogs who want something. Sure. Go ahead. Gruff bucket. Quick! A beer! Okay. You want something, please? in a hurry. Hey, beer, beer. Beer, 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 beer! beer. Beer. Here. Thanks. Now. Boom! Why did you break the glass? I made breakfast! Get it? Because you made the drinks fast and I work it and go. Oh crap. Suddenly I understand the hate for puns. Hey, Bat Render! Yeah? Hey, your job is a funny name. You don't say. Oh, she already drunk? She drank way less than she did last night. Yeah, but she drank the bottle before coming here. Why? I wish I knew. This is an example of her alcohol tolerance, though. Bra denter! I need to make a toast to my good friend the robot here. Bra denter! Fucking bra denter! If only you were forewarned, I hate it. Probably the only person robot thing that could stand my yapping for more than half an hour. Without him, my job would be five times more boring than my life, two times more meaningless. Cheers! You're not holding a drink. Then give me one, Ben Trader! Isn't that your job? I need a beer, a big one! Alright, she wants a big beer. I remember it needs eight karma train because I remember it was DOS and kept on getting it. Ugh. All right, cheers! I said cheers! Cheers, cheers, good! Grumpy went sober and a sweetheart went drunk. It seems like she's been like this since her university years. You make it sound like those were a decade ago. Um, I can understand liking the taste of alcohol, but it's so good about getting drunk. First of all, I'm not drunk. You're too happy. I'm a happy person! When drunk. Hmm. Yeah, I needed to play this game to get me in the ministry-making mood. Mm-hmm. Anyway, it's something you just can't explain. You just like it. Your body needs it. Craves it. That's called addiction. <laughs> Why do I talk? That's called being an alcoholic. I'm the same alcohol enthusiast. Anyway, humans actually look for things to make them feel lightheaded. Not me. Why else would they leave some poison and potentially poisonous foods like they were or balloon fish thing? Why would they eat spicy food or drink fermented milk? I mean, spicy food is tasty. Fermented milk is weird. Seriously, how crazy does someone need to be to say, hey, let's eat this and see what happens? I mean, when you're hungry enough, when you're curious enough, or when you really hate your na your friend named Grunk. Worse yet, there's even found medicine among all that junk. The one that invented penicillin is probably the worst of them all. Fair enough, but see, that's proof you're drunk. If you were sober, you would just say, hell if I know. Still, you're over. And she just, like, just drags her figure across his cheek. Now that I think about it, what kind of robot are you? Lilim. Lilim always sound too feminine. Okay, then. What manner of piece of scrap are you? You don't know. Never cared, but now I'm curious. Sent penicillin on that dude who ate moldy bread. Yeah. Oh, well, you won't remember it tomorrow. I'm a DT-01D. Social development robot. Is that like the DFC-72s? 
No, no. DFC-72s are designed to be as physically as human as possible in order to blend in with humans better. My line is more tailored for Brazilians. We are work willing. Why must you be cursed to only one destiny from the moment you're born? You can do whatever you want, silly robot. Follow your dreams. I know. I'm already doing it. It's just with corgis. Being creator hardware for one duty only means you're only a gift of certain things. Given robots freedom of choice, that's the whole purpose of the ADM law. Yeah, but you know, you say you're resilient, but you don't look at the part. True, I'll never upgrade my muscles, but I can stay up to 200 degrees Celsius without breaking a sweat. Will them from sweat? Cooling agents, yes. No matter, you're still special to me no matter what kind of robot you are. Willem. No matter what piece of shit you are. Speaking of special, how come it isn't legal to marry a dog yet? I was kidding about the dog fucker thing, but sure. Excuse me, what? She sobered up immediately. If humans are allowed to marry robots, Lilim, I mean Lilim. Ahem. My guy! Annie, what do you mean, my guy? They should be able to marry dogs, too. Ab trender. That's me, I think. This guy here wants to bang a dog. Mock him. Immediately, one of my favorite things. Excuse me. I do not. As in, my guy, what are you talking about? Okay, good. Good. I was just saying that if humans are not allowed to marry little, why shouldn't they be able to marry animals? Because, first of all, they're not humanoids. What about monkeys, then? And now you just want to bang a monkey? <laughs> I do not. And second of all, dogs, just like many other animals, can't give you consent. But look at those dogs. Should they have the cognitive abilities of seven years to it, they can also talk, drink, booze, and argue. So now you have <laughs> seven year old. <laughs> we have a regular here who would be delayed to hear that. Oh my gosh, jeez! Stop it! Remember, Lily, human marriage is a realization of the Luma cheat full sentience. And even then, they use marriage as a way to evolve the collective source. Besides, dogs don't really love us that way. Trying to apply human ideas like marriage to a dog is like... Like trying to feed vegetables to a carnivore, you get me? I mean, opportunistic uh, herbivores... Uh, herbivores... Omnivores exist. Yeah, no. See, if the dogs were, like, actual dog ears, that'd be one thing. But still, no. Says the ex-vegetarian. Why are you only so smart when drunk? I'm not drunk. But anyway, if you want to screw a dog or a chimp, go ahead. Just don't bring marriage or infants into the whole deal, deal. But if you even start thinking about doing the horizontal mambo with a seven-year-old, please seek some mental help. I love her! Yeah, get some help! Yeah, no! Yeah, 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 just, uh, just don't. Just don't even think about doing it, just get some help. Immediately. But I don't want to bang dogs, or monkeys, or seven-year-olds. Well, thank God. And why did you suddenly start talking about dog-human marriage? It's just, I was thinking about all these dogs in tuxedos, and... And I started picturing a dog in a bridal dress. Oh, he's thinking... <laughs> he's just stupid, gotcha. I mean, just try and picture that. And I'm the drunk one. Wait, I'm not drunk. Why would I say that? Then again, when you get drunk, you only get dizzy. Do you have a limit as in a limit on how much you can drink before passing out? No, I'll just get disoriented to the point I'm effectively useless. I'll never pass out. Maybe, if I passed out, I wouldn't have to deal with all the shit that follows. I always have to get at least 24 hours before the effects pass. Oh, that is pain. See, I sober up quick. However, that's also because my metabolism goes, Oh, you've got alcohol in here now. Time to put you in hyper mode. One has to wonder why they gave all these human flaws to Lilim. I read something about that. It said that by giving Lilim the same kind of weakness as humans have, they would develop the same way humans do. <laughs> you got alcohol better converted to it. That's why they also bite their lips randomly when eating. Seems like it. But it makes me wonder exactly how anatomically correct are you? That's something I know and you don't. Oh, jeez, Mion, jeez. Hmm. 
Honey, do you want anything else to drink? Yeah, I want nothing. You're drunk enough as is. You're not my dad. You can't tell me what I can or can't do. Beatrice and Albert, stop drinking right now. Yes, Mom. <laughs> now go sleep in the car. We are almost done here. But, Mom! Go. Hmm. Bye, bad narder. Bye, bad narder. Bye, Miss Betty. It actually worked. If I didn't know she wouldn't remember anything tomorrow, I'd be afraid of retaliation. Although, I'm curious, why do you call her Miss Betty? It makes her sound like a teacher or something. <laughs> he used the government name on her, yes! <laughs> Adequate? I don't know. There's also something about her that makes it feel right to call her that. Maybe it's that forehead. I see. You watched Code Lyoko as well. Well, I gotta get things ready. If you'll excuse me. Good luck. <laughs> why do you all- Why are you all scalies? We're closing. Well, everyone's safe in the cab. You're taking our leave, bartender. Thank you for providing such great service on such notice. There was four. There was the two that were like the same dragon fucker thing. There was Wyvern Lover. Then there was Worm something. I think all the scaly fuckers are owned by the same dude. Oh my gosh. Bugbear Paper! <laughs> oh fuck. Chabberwocky Show. <laughs> Wormbanger, Wyvern Lover, then there was also the other one. Lizard Folk Licker, okay, that one's a bit funny. That's my job. Um, you were interesting too. Drake did lurch. <laughs> well, thank you. I'll make sure to tell all our researchers about the wonders of this place. Lindworm Lair, oh my gosh. Hydron is a favorite, yeah. Look, Hydras have so many mouths, so the gangbang option is best for them. Jackal Jerker. I could be a jackal jerker, but for many reasons that you all don't know. Yep, Kimi has that face. Mm-hmm. We sure will. Lamia Luster. See, that one's basic. What about the spider spankers? Send my regards to Miss Betty. Gladly. See you later, then. Bye. All done? Yep. Seems like we got some new regulars. Yeah, it'd be nice if they came back, or that we're still here when they want to come back. You've been acting weird all weekend, boss. Are you okay? I am, but the bar is not. What do you mean? The Joker, more Joker. Well, I guess you have the right to know now. The BTC sent me a message on Friday. All oh, Hala hasn't been bringing in much income in the last few months. Which means that we are at risk of being wiped off the map. And that was the dem the prologue. Now we have demo. Anna. Demo. That was interesting. Ugh. Man, such a slow night. There we go. At least I'm not serving dogs. Probably this would be where a dog should look at a cheap punchline. I guess not. Speaking of dogs, I wonder where the hell we go. Bored? Ah! Sorry, did I wake you up? I was asleep and my eyes were open. You went to college, right? You know having your eyes open means nothing. Don't worry, I don't blame you. It's been a really long time since we had such a slow night. In fact, I think the last time we had a night this slow was before you started working here. Really? Yeah, it happens when Robert was still working here. Who? My first employee, the court needed bought a levitation potion and threw himself off the building. Oh. As it turned out, the potion actually worked. Come again. He started rising in the air, and it couldn't stop. He later found his body smeared across the nose of a commercial flight that was on its way to, uh... I don't even want to pronounce that. But anyway, so it worked! She just levitated into a plane. Hmm. Should you really dismiss that so easily? Hmm. We didn't have a single client that night. I didn't even lost soul shows looking up for direction. But then suddenly he pitched us up. He was obviously underage, but I was bored, so I decided to let him go for something. He gave- I gave him one karma train free drink. I mean, even if I was letting him order, I wasn't going to give alcohol to an underage boy. And then when this time came for him to pay his tab, he realized he didn't have enough money. He then yanked his shirt over his head, started screaming he's a ghost, and then tried to escape. So I kicked him so hard that he flew out of the bar, and told him ghosts didn't feel pain. Boss, did you really kick an underage kid? Of course not. I just gave him a warning and made him watch a couple dishes. 
The fact that you even thought for a moment that I would pick a young, innocent child hurts me to no end, you know. You would, Dana, you would. Anyway, just give it up. Someone will show up sooner or later. I sure hope so. Hold on, come think of it. Aren't those checks made out to Robert? No. Oh, what well, was this girl killed a couple minutes? I think I'll, I don't know, sort the glass here or something. Oh, we had a fedora shaped glass. Um, anybody here? Ah, sorry, I'll be right at the. Ouch. Are you okay? Oh, you. I'm fine. Yeah. Welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? Um, something wrong? Aren't you sure you're old enough to drink? Well, seeing how I'm old enough to eat solid food, I'm guessing I guess that drinking won't be a problem. You know that's not what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I'm old enough to drink. I turned 21 not too long ago, actually. Yep. Mmm. There she is. So don't believe me? What do you mean to give you? I must be sleep deprived or something. What's this deja vu feeling, though? It's fine, don't worry. What can I get you? I feel like having a sugar rush. You're coming right up. Sugar rush. Well, no alcohol for you. Here. Thanks. Hold on, this doesn't have any alcohol, does it? Nope. You really think I'm underage, don't you? Yep. I'll have you know I'm old enough to get pregnant. That means nothing! That's sadly not relevant here. Yeah, exactly! Ugh. On second thought, this is actually good. Or, I mean, don't underestimate me. I hate the sassy child. Same. You really think I look that young? I do, but not young enough to be considered underage. Then why won't you give me alcohol? Because I wanted to mess with you. Next question. As for the client, they usually do that. Only if it looks like they might take it in their stride. So why are you so angry at the idea I might think you look young? That's... I mean, the only people who don't like being mistaken for someone younger are young people. But to be fair, you still look older than 95% of our regulars. That would mean you serve drinks for people who look like they're 13 years old or something. Yep. Dorothy exists. Eh? All right, let's get the sort of thing out of the way. Please show me your ID. Sure. Okay. Seems everything's in order, Miss Anna Graham? Anna Graham. Anna Graham. I've never heard that name before. Go ahead, just try to make a joke I haven't heard yet. I'll politely refuse. No, I'm serious, go ahead. People think it's too easy so they never make jokes about my name. I'm still going to politely refuse. You're no fun. So what's your name, Miss Bartender? My name? You saw my name. I have the right to know yours. Fair enough. I'm Jill. Jill what? Just Jill. Yeah, but what's your full name? Just call me Jill. Fine. I'll just pretend Jill's a way of saying your name to Ashley Johanna Ignatia Laurent Lone. Actually, I'll just shorten it to Joe. Whatever floats your boat. Say, hey, Joe. This place looks awfully desolate. Joe, she says. It's been a slow day. A really, really slow day. Oh, you got an animated emo from the hype train? Nice. I'm actually glad you showed up. Oh, I got that one too. It's from bored as hell. Let me see if anagram with the letters are mixed around is an A manager. Yeah. It fits. I fucking love this game so much. So I take it this isn't a popular place, then? We have our regulars, but we're not like the bars in the main street. Still, I like this place. It's comfy and, I don't know, makes me feel safe. Weird. I mean, I feel that way too, but this place usually gives off the opposite impression. Can't blame them, though. This isn't exactly the best part of the city. Why well, can't do the jukebox? Interesting. It's a shame. I really like how nicely this place seems. I can't hear the sound of the city in here. Nice. I just noticed her text is white compared to everyone else's. But then again, you could say I have some experience with isolated places. So it might just be nostalgia. Nostalgia, huh? Speaking of coming in here, now that I think about it, you didn't ask for my ID when I first came in. Why don't you do it if you were suspicious? Well, personally, I was bored. Figures. 
And second, I felt like you were of legal age. Uh, how? We've had a lot of kids come in here thinking they could get away with ordering a drink, but they're too nervous or jumpy. I don't usually give drinks to kids like that. They don't know what they've been dealing with. What if they're not like that, but still underage? If they are at least look like they're above legal age, I would be able to live with myself, I guess. I won't give them anything if I know they're still kids, but I am bound to be fooled sometime. German Anna, Anna Manger, Angry Mana. So I'm guessing I wasn't jumpy? Yep. I see. Hey, Joe, now that you know I can drink legally, can I get another one? What do you want? Hmm, give me something sweet. Sure. Sweet drink, okay? Let's go, Sparkle Star. And let's give her all the juice. All the juice! One sweet drink? Thanks! You know, if all drinks were like this, I'd be afraid of turning into an alcoholic. Please don't joke about that. How can you say that? You're a bartender. A bartender doesn't want her clients to become alcoholics. Just like how personal trainers don't want their trainees to turn to steroid junkies. Still zero earned? Yeah, that's the fun part. No money. Oh yeah, I guess you're right. Still, this one's really nice. Hey Joe, do you drink? I suppose, yeah. It'd be weird for a bartender not to drink, you know? I don't know. I make dentists with bad teeth. Bartenders who don't drink totally would make sense. Yep, yeah, some bartenders don't drink. I would be one of them in the past, but I drink a bit now. Not a huge bunch, though. That's silly. You're like a vegan chef running a barbecue restaurant. So it would work. You think? Yeah, I mean, it's not a matter of whether you can eat or drink whether it is or drink whatever it is you're making. It's more like, why do it if you don't like it? Huh. Yeah, I guess that's true. A dentist might have bad teeth, but he could still like working in dentistry. Why bother bartending if you don't like alcohol? See? Hmm. Something wrong? I just noticed you haven't said my name yet. I haven't... what? Aside from whenever you read my ID out loud, you haven't said my name. Meanwhile, I've called you out yours like a gazillion times now. The wrong name, though. Well, I haven't had the need to say your name. Come on, humor me. Say my name. Why? Say my name. Say my name. Say my name. I'm not going to. This is fey bullshit. <sighs> Anna. One more time. Fucking fey bullshit. Don't dig into it. Fun fact, our underage bartenders are not allowed to handle alcohol to clients. They need to get a supervisor or the standing bartender. Makes sense. Anna. Yes, now one more time. Don't! Nana. Have again, maybe any glasses? And then there's this feeling again. Did someone I see someone wish out from the past? Yep. Yeah. Oh come on. Why did you want me to say your name? I like hearing people call me by name. You're invoking her. This is like saying BB and just going for all the craziness. The bartender thing varies depending on where you are. Yeah. It feels personal and fuzzy. Yeah, but asking people to say your name like that is a bit quirky. Her hair is purple. Her hair is burgundy. Creepy. I don't know about that. There was a certain someone who would wake me up in the morning saying my name. Your name is important. Once you know someone's name, the gap between that person and you disappears. BB's knees. Yeah, I get the feeling. Once you give names to things, you start seeing them as important members of the family. So what if it's creepy? It's so nice. Stop calling me Joe and use my name then. Say, Anna, can I get you something? Which? You call me by my name, so sure. About your arm? About, oh yeah, I'm lacking one. Did saying the word creepy remind you of its absence? Oh, on her right side, she lacks one. Interesting. Actually, I've been wanting to ask about it since you came in. At least be uncomfortable for a second. I'm trying to get a rise out of you. Sheesh. So what is it? How did I lose it? If it's not too personal. It isn't. I'm actually proud of the tale. But why? You're looking at a proud survivor of nano machine rejection. Really? I thought that was something the doctors detected while a fetus is still in the womb. Yes and no. There's actually two types of nano machine rejection syndrome. The first one is the most common, 
you should just touch it while you're still a fetus. That's when they turn you into a cat boomer. The other one can sometimes appear in your teenage years. Incredibly rare, but still possible. So that arm... Nano machine rejection basically causes your body to attack itself. Tissues start ripping apart, your organs malfunction. I was lucky. In the end, all I lost was an arm and a handful of toes. Get it? A handful, because I lost five. Um, <clears throat> anyway. I have a prosthetic arm, but it's in maintenance right now. I see. It's a bit weird to be without it. I still feel like it's there. Yeah? Phantom limb exists for many things, not just that. Just a couple of hours ago, I tried to draw an something and I just stood there, thinking that arm was doing something. But anyways, mind giving me another rank and keep talking about my stump after that. Um, right. What do you want? Let's try something classy. It's weird being in a bar and not asking for a fancy drink. Alright. Classy it is. Mercury Blast! Mercury Blast. I feel like making it big. Make it big. Blended. Here. This looks expensive. Alright, I'm starting to have second thoughts right now. Just drink it. <laughs> I'm starting to feel dizzy. That's nice. It is? Of course. I spent so much time in hospitals and whatnot, but now I'm just living my life, you know? Whatever life you are, you wonderful simulation you. I want to feel the good and the bad. No more being forced to sit quietly in quarantine rooms. Yeah, I can get that. Wait, quarantine? Type 2 nanomachine rejection patients are put in special chambers free from the nanomachine particles in the air. That prevents them from being assimilated and aggravating their whole situation. To be fair, not all my memories of that chamber are bad. I mean, I did spend three, four years in one of those places. Really, that long? Well, I didn't go for the genetic level treatment, so it was longer and a lot less expensive. I'm not going to complain, though. I have a lot of thanks to all that. And I left with so many fond memories, too. So, that's what you meant with the whole feeling nostalgic in isolated places thing. Yep. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Just dizzy. Hey, Joe. My orchid tree drinks, would you be willing to share one with me? Come again? To be honest, talking about the treatments and all would make me feel a bit lonely. Sorry if it's not something you can do, but I had to ask. Not something I normally do, but... Yeah, what the hell, sure. Really? Yay! Alright then, I want a piano man and a piano woman. On it. She wants to have the fuck. You gonna freak. Gonna hug her. Hug her, pat her head, and have her glitch into our bodies. All on the rocks and mix. Piano man. And piano woman. Sing us a song, you're the piano man. Sing us a song tonight. But we're all in the mood for a beer. That's right, right? Five, five, two, three, three. Yes. All right. When do you give someone a name, the distance becomes zero. Mm. Two drinks. Which one do you want? You prefer the man or the woman? I'm fine with either, really. Jill casually saying she's by. Okay, I'll pick the woman then. Cheers. Mmm, I saw maybe next time in there. Alright, this is getting weird. I said, cheers! Oh, cheers. Yeah! Uh, are you okay? Yeah, I guess I'm fine. I'm just dizzy and sad. Sad? I miss Lynette. Who? She and I were the only patients with nanomachine rejection that I'm in the hospital. We were together every day. When it was time to eat, she was there. During visiting hours, she was there. Whenever I slept, whenever I cried, whenever I laughed, she was always there. Whenever I, lo when I lost my arm, she told me I could have hers as compensation. And I could use it however I wanted. What happened to her? Tokyo flu. Something that went wrong with her immune system and the flu started kicking in. Mmm. They tried to rush part of her treatment to reduce the symptoms, but it only made the nanomachines go wild. 
It eventually got to her brain and... I see, sorry to hear that. The worst part is that they left her as she might have been. She might have been able to spend an extra year or so with her. But all that work only to get her killed sooner. I didn't even get a chance to say goodbye, she just vanished. Yeah, that's, that's a mood. That's a big mood. Very big mood. That's tough. I miss you every day, you know. I say I want to forget her, but the truth is, I just want this pain to go away. It's been two years and I still feel the pain. Every second is just a second without her. I get so lonely. Sorry, am I making you uncomfortable, Joe? You're not. Don't worry. Also, it's Jill. Oh, sorry about that. I'm just... We had so many plans about what we do after we left. We were so close to being together without the pesky nanomachine rejection, and... It's not fair, you know? Why do I get to be here while she doesn't? I try to enjoy life as much as I can. Enjoy it for the both of us, but it doesn't seem enough. What do you think? What do I think? Um... Well, I think about my grandpa. Your grandpa? He was a harsh guy. He was sincere, but not one to mess with platitudes. It's not like he had a lot of enemies, but many people were cautious around him. But once he died, I never heard a single bad, bad comment about him. <sighs> oh my gosh, the gosh, he's hitting me. Not even those who used to badmouth him every now and then. Really? Well, the best thing about this is that after you die, all the wrongs you ever committed feel meaningless. Hey, kid. Anna is coming through the screen hitting Yang with EPs. I mean, if that was the case, I'd be questioning everything concerned. Also, thanks for the head. That means a lot to me. Well, it makes you think about how petty something can be. Yep. Yeah. On second thought, that doesn't have much to do with what you said, does it? What I'm trying to say here is don't cry so hard. Just you know. Be grateful you had that chance. Oh, my gosh. I know what you're feeling right now, but you'll get better. Eventually, all you will remember is the happy moments. Hope so. Sounds like you and your grandpa were close. You were my best friend. This is almost quite the blow. Do you have any regrets in regards to him? I guess not. I mean, it's not like I had a dramatic goodbye or anything like that. He died in a hospital bed while I was at home. That is always a big regret. Sure. But... I don't know, I never had a heated discussion with him, so I don't have that problem. Sure, there's always a bit of, I wish I could have told him this, but that's bound to happen regardless of who you're talking about. Did you leave Lynette after a fight or something? No, of course not. Then you're luckier than most people. Oh. What I mean is, whenever you feel depressed, remember that she left her life while both of you were on good terms. Whenever you feel down, try to hold on to that. Yeah, I can try that. Yeah, that cheered me up a bit somehow. Thanks. Uh, hi, Woozy. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm EP. Okay, fine. I should be leaving now. Thanks for such a lovely night, Joe. If you feel lonely again, just come back. I will. Well, that was an entertaining bit, girlfriend. Ah, uh, boss, what happened? I came to ask you that. Eh? You just spent an hour or two talking to yourself. No, I didn't. There was a girl called Anna here. There was nobody here. I was actually coming to tell you we're going to close for tonight, and there you were chatting with Anna. Uh, spirited talk, too. That can't be. She paid for her drinks. The registry says the money came from your account. All the drinks I served her. You mean the liquid that someone who is definitely not going to be me has to clean off the floor? But I... She'll, you're worrying me. Are you okay? The last thing I need is another employee who talks to herself. I'm fine. Just... Are you sure there wasn't anyone else here? I even checked the security cameras. You were here by yourself this whole while. Maybe you're tired. Probably we're just sleep talking really intensely or something. Yeah, maybe. Come on, I'll drive you home. Maybe you just need to rest. Yeah. What the hell just happened? And with that, that will be everything with Valhalla. It took me two years to actually get the freaking 
desire to do that. But I was in the mood to actually finish it. 